start. There is always a fire hazard when working with isopropanol or ethanol. One uses fire to disinfect the blade of the knife and ethanol to swipe surfaces. Next to the fire hazard, you want a sharp knife for easy cutting. As seen in the picture, the heated blade becomes blunt. That is why I started using only chemical ethanol sterilization for my mushroom processes to increase the safety of my home. Second benefit is, that the knife also maintains its sharpness. This is an extra chapter. I produced this video in a way that it can also be used as a printout. All the design that are shown in my videos can be downloaded. Hey! My name is Daniel, I am from Germany, and I will be your host. This is how I structured this video. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. You could also support any other good project. Let's start. This is the specification that guided me during designing this part. I will address the different important topics during the rest of the presentation. Next. There are different ways to sterilize your knife. One normally uses a flame torch. To disinfect your hands, one uses hydrogen peroxide, isopropanol, or ethanol. In Germany one uses ethanol, because it is much cheaper than the other two. The work is performed in a still air box. The blade of the knife is heated. When it glows red then it had enough heat. The longer the better. This is needed in order to work sterile afterwards. One always works together in combination with ethanol or isopropanol. I use them to wipe surfaces or to clean my hands. The agar dish contains reishi mycelium. Ethanol burns directly when coming into contact with fire. This poses a safety hazard. The same happens when one burns isopropanol. Also a fire hazard. Ethanol does burn slow. It is also used for table stoves. Isopropanol burns much faster and evaporates much easier. There lies a big danger within. That means isopropanol is more dangerous than ethanol. Hydrogen peroxide does not burn but is expensive. When I started mushrooming everybody was using hydrogen peroxide. When you sterilize your hands and use fire to sterilize, you must be careful. In order to get rid of the fire element I created an only chemical solution. There are two tubes. 
One is for storage. It is filled with ethanol. Thus, the blade is completely disinfected during storage. If I use the blade, I take it out with a magnet and put it into the front tube. That one is not that tall. One can easily take out the knife for cutting. L. I printed this holding element. It has a little bit better handling positing for the second tube. It does not matter much. Before I printed it, I used for a long time the metal angle solution. This is the metal angle solution. It is very easy to build. Just order the parts and combine them. It stands solid and does not overturn. Paper cutter with magnetic handle. The cork top needs to be shortened a little bit. This is no problem. Just use a saw. Just cut it. The tube needs to be close in order to have no evaporation. If the tube is too tall, you cannot easily take out the knife. Complete picture of the knife in the storing position. Picture of the knife in the working position. Notice that you can place the magnet anywhere. If you put the knife too fast into the storage tube it may damage the bottom of it. I did first create a very very small hole. This is an already bigger hole after playing around with the problem. Solution is to put a little dumper into the tube. It may swim, but it will remind you to put the knife very gentle into the tube. I used a thick kitchen sponge. Cut out a round piece and put it in the tube. Put it in the bottom. It can have a bigger diameter than the tube has. Do not chose non-magnetic stainless metal. The knife also need to have a magnetic top. Most cheap knives do not have that feature. Here you see my knife. The blue plastic element is important. That knife has a magnetic end. Left blade is the one I used in combination with the blowtorch. Middle in combination with chemical disinfection. Right one is new. Let's check the differences with a microscope. 2,5x microscope objective lens. 2,5x microscope objective lens. 5x microscope objective lens A 10x microscope objective lens 20x microscope objective lens Now we will look at the obviously much better looking chemical sterilized knife. Let us place it. 2,5x microscope objective lens 2,5x microscope objective lens 5x microscope objective lens 5x microscope objective lens 10x microscope objective lens 
10x microscope objective lens. 20x microscope objective lens. 20x microscope objective lens. The heat disinfection obviously causes stress on the material. Cutting agar or fruiting bodies with a sharp knife is much more fun. Let's look at the materials. Printed element can be downloaded at thingiverse.com. This is a screenshot from my slicer. This is the metal angle I used. Second picture. Check if your angle is magnetic. These magnetic bars I used because they are strong, and I already had them from a game. Here you see the game. The bar and a ball together can create many shapes. Very nice game for kids. This one comes with a magnetic handle. This is very important. This is the element of the knife that you should check for existence. The knife with the blue rubber grip has this element. Laboratory tubes can be found at AliExpress. I used 120x 16mm for the working position, bought on eBay. I used 160x 16mm with cork top for the storage tube. I used 160x 16mm with cork top for the storage tube. I do not propose to use isopropanol for the storing tube. That's it, lecture is over. What do you do for safety? Do you have any other go measures you want to share? I do not know what will be next, but I am sure that there will be a next video. Thank you, for spending your time with me. Auf Wiedersehen.